So what's good, y'all? We back with another video. And I've been wanting to talk about this topic for about two months or a month and a half. And really, ever since I've thought about it, it's really just got more like fed into and, you know, the topic has become more of a thing. And it really became more of a bigger topic like during media day about a week ago. And that is the Phoenix Suns. Now, obviously, the Phoenix Suns, you know, they're one of the best teams in basketball. And they went to the finals in 2021. They had a franchise record in wins last year, 64 wins. But something don't feel right. It feels like the championship window for this team is starting to close. Not quick, but like it's starting to, it's starting to move. You know what I mean? You get the point. And this starts to feel the same way kind of with like the Houston Rockets with James Harden and Chris Paul. Utah Jazz with Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. And you start to kind of see when the championship windows are starting to close and i'm starting to get that vibe from the phoenix suns so let me get into why i believe it's starting to close first things first this really all started with the deandre Ayton contract situation following the 2021 season and i get it he wanted his money the suns didn't feel like he was worth the money that he wanted it carried out throughout the 2022 season and then obviously we had the whole free agency situation where he wanted to go to Indiana and Phoenix match. And Phoenix ended up paying him money anyways. So you got that situation. And then obviously I can't forget the absolute massacre that happened in the playoffs versus the Dallas Mavericks, especially in that game seven, losing at home by like 30 plus points. I can't even remember the exact number, but it was a blowout. Let's just say that it was one of the craziest games I ever witnessed in my life. That's how bad it was. And ever since those two moments, the Suns have started to feel a little different. And then obviously now we got the whole Chris Paul situation. And I'm not saying Chris Paul did anything. He didn't. But he's older. He's getting older. And it's only a matter of time until it starts to feel like, all right, he's going to retire soon. I don't know when that time comes, but probably after his contract that he signed, probably, what, a year and a half back? After that contract is up. I don't know what he's done. I don't know what he's doing. He's probably done. And which leads me to my next point, which is when he retires, what happens? Do they, what's the next point guard? Who is the next guy to take Chris Paul's spot? Because without Chris Paul, yes, this team can still function for a time period, but they're not, a they're not even close to a championship contender without Chris Paul. So there's that. And then there's... Just the saltiness, <laughs> the saltiness. The Suns lose one preseason game to Australian League team. It was funny. Don't get me wrong. It was funny. The memes were funny too. All you know is all funny. But Devin Booker is getting salty over preseason losses. The over the reaction of preseason losses. That's a red flag. If this man is getting salty over preseason losses, he's in for a long season. Especially if this team doesn't get off to the hot start or a good start, it's going to be some problems. Now, I'm not saying the Suns team isn't going to win a lot of games. They're probably going to win 50-plus games. But I don't know. I just don't feel the same vibe. That's really what it comes down to. I don't feel the same about the Phoenix Suns like I did going into last season or during the 2021 season. It doesn't feel the same. This team feels like it's starting to slowly break apart, but it just hasn't gotten to that point yet. Then we got the whole training camp situation. If you remember, DeAndre Ayton was like, oh, that he's all right being a Phoenix. I don't know. I just don't like the vibe. Obviously, we got the ownership situation too, but I don't really feel like it's worth talking about. It's a big topic, but kind of controversial, so I'm going to stay away from that. So just a whole bunch of things going on in Phoenix, and I don't know. The team is good, but I just don't, I don't like where they're heading. I don't like it. Jay Crowder's already off the table. He's getting traded. We don't know where, but he's not even on the team anymore, basically. So many things are happening. They got their core guys, but it's just, you know, the team is pretty much the same, and the rest of the West is getting better and better, too. Teams are coming back healthy. There's new teams coming into the picture. I don't really know how I feel about this Suns team. Like I said before. Still a really good basketball team, but are they the same title favorites like they were last year? 
I just don't feel it. I feel like this team is like now on that road where they're going to start getting bumped out second round. Maybe Western Conference Finals, but Western Conference Finals isn't really like a disappointment. But I think second round exits, that's what I feel about this Suns team. Until they prove otherwise, I just don't like the vibe about the Phoenix Suns going forward. And maybe, like I said, maybe everything can change. Maybe the vibe turns positive and the Suns go back to being like this happy, good team like they were in 2021 where everybody loved them and they were like the poster boy for an NBA team back in 2021. Maybe it can get like that again. But right now, things are starting to happen. Bad things are starting to happen. And I'm just saying, these are early warning signs of when a team is getting close to that point where the title contender window is closing and I see some of those signs already happening with the Phoenix Suns don't come at me Suns fans because last time I made a video talking about the Suns y'all were salty talking about oh what you mean you know the Suns aren't this the Suns aren't that I don't hate the Suns but I tell it how it is or how I feel and I feel the same way about the Suns like I did about the Houston Rockets back in like 2019 and the same way I felt about the Utah Jazz back in 2020 where they wanted to keep it pushing for an extra year and it was just it was kind of not worth it it was just wasn't worth it at a certain point but we'll see how it goes for the Suns a lot of questions especially once Chris Paul contract ends we'll see how that goes and we should be I, I'm, I think I'm gonna be pretty invested in what happens with the Phoenix Suns over the course of this season and over the course of the off season. Because I think if they have a disappointing year, things are going to get really interesting with the rumors that are probably going to come out out of the Phoenix Suns camp. Anyways, it's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Link will be down in the description below. This has been a checkup where we talk hoops and hoops only. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.